Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video we'll be doing something special, we'll be creating these awesome cinematic slides with animated 3D models, move transitions and a clickable slide menu. We'll have a lot of fun, so let's go! And before we get started, I want to say a huge thanks to SlideModel.com for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneScale channel. SlideModel.com makes it quick and easy to create professional PowerPoint presentations without the need for design skills. Whether you need animations, 3D models or impactful presentations that engage and persuade your audience, SlideModel.com has got you covered. Choose from thousands of 100% editable designs covering most business and professional use cases. From corporate profiles to pitch decks to business strategy and everything in between, you'll find what you need. I especially like the slide zoom templates that help you to zoom in and zoom out when needed and this way create dynamic visual stories for your audience. And once you find your perfect template, download it to your device, open it up in PowerPoint and then easily edit it to make it your own. So once again super thanks to SlideModel.com, go check them out, link is in the video description. And now let's continue with the tutorial. Alright my friends, so let's jump into PowerPoint and I'm jumping into PowerPoint Microsoft 365. And since today we'll be working with 3D models and Morph Transition, having PowerPoint 2019 or later is pretty much recommended. And as you can see I have already inserted a couple of elements at the corners of this slide so that we can save some time and jump directly to the fun part. And by the way this beautiful background photo comes from unsplash.com, here is the link, feel free to check it out. And by the way if you would like to grab this slide for absolutely free and follow along this tutorial, link is in the video description. Alright now let's insert one of those 3D models, let's just go to insert, let's go to 3D models and let's choose one of the stock 3D models provided by PowerPoint. Ok, so let's just search for an astronaut, ok, and as you can see we have two astronaut models, so let's pick the one which has this little animation icon, ok, this means that this model is animated. Click insert and skadoosh, we get this beautiful 3D model of an astronaut. We can use this white handle in the middle to rotate our astronaut any way we wish and as well we can use this rotation handle at the top. Alright and now let's just click on this little play button and let's see what kind of animation do we get and as you can see the astronaut is floating in the air, this is called scene number one. Let's see what happens when we click on scene number two, now the astronaut is looking around, that's super awesome, let's click on scene number three, he's waving to us, hello Mr. Astronaut, and scene number four he's running. Ok, so for now I think we can stick with scene number one. Ok, next let's just make sure that our astronaut is selected and let's go to the selection pane and let's give this guy a proper name. So let's just start with a double exclamation mark and now we can type in anything that we wish, for example floating. And you might be wondering why have I used these two exclamation marks and later on we'll be using morph transition and we'll be using multiple 3D models. And PowerPoint will definitely have easier time, you know, differentiating which model is which when we have those uh, double exclamation marks. And for now let's just put this model on the left side, we can resize him and now let me jump to my previous slides so that we can grab this text box. Ok, let's select it, hit Ctrl C to copy, let's get back and let's hit Ctrl V to paste. Super duper wonderful my friends, you're doing wonderful. Now let's just zoom out a little bit and let's see what's going on, as you can see our 3D model is super huge. That's good. Ok, so let's see what's happening in the selection pane, let's make sure that our model stays at the top and here in the animation pane list as you can see we have this floating animation and in the timing options the repetition is set to until the end of slide. So basically this astronaut will be floating non-stop until we transition to the next slide. Alright my friends and next we'll have to do something unusual, we'll have to create 4 slides inside of 1 slide. You might say, hey one skill it doesn't make sense how you can create 4 slides inside of 1 slide, don't worry I'll show you how, let's just go to insert shapes and let's choose a rectangle tool, and now let's just draw a rectangle that covers the whole slide just like that, ok? And now let's just grab this rectangle, we can hold down the shift key and let's just drag him downwards just like that until it touches the bottom of the first slide. Now let's just duplicate this guy, ok? Zoom out a little bit and let's position the duplicate rectangle below the first one, just like that. Now hit Ctrl D one more time and now we should have 4 slides inside of one slide. And that might look unusual, but hey, everything we do in this channel is unusual. And now let's just add some content to all of these empty slides and for that let me just use some text boxes from my previous slides. Let's just like this one, hit Ctrl C to copy. 
Let's get back, hit Ctrl V to paste, let's just drag it uh, downwards to slide number 2. We can align it to the middle, that's beautiful. Let's make sure that this floating uh, astronaut stays uh, at the front, in the front, ok. And now let's insert a 3D model to slide number 2 as well, and for that we can just hold down the Ctrl key to quickly duplicate our first astronaut. And for this second guy let's just rotate him, resize him and let's just place him here on the right side. That's beautiful. Ok, now let's add some content to slide number 3 and once again let me just grab this text box. Ok, here it is. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. I'm sure you know this shortcut. Ok, so let's just place it here at slide number 3. Ok, and once again let me just hold down the Ctrl key, let's copy this astronaut. Ok, let's rotate him a little bit, let's turn him to the right side. And this time let's choose a new animation, let's use scene number 4 which basically is a running astronaut. And now in the selection pane, let's make sure that everything is looking pretty. Let's make sure that all of these text box groups are below our 3D models. And for this running guy, let's rename him and let's just call him running. Okay, so that we have two floating guys and one running guy. And let's just move this huge floating astronaut to the top of the list. Okay, so in the second place, let's move this uh, second floating guy. And in the third place, we will have this running model. Okay. Let's just resize him a little bit and let's check if the animation is working. Ok, so the astronaut is running, everything is according to the plan. Alright, and now all that's left is to add some content to slide number 4 and once again let me jump to my previous slide. Let's copy this beautiful text box, let's just hit Ctrl C and let's get back to our slice and let's paste it into slide number 4. Of course it lands to slide number 1 but we can just drag it to slide number 4. Alright. And this time let me just duplicate this huge uh, floating 3D model. Ok, let's just rotate him like this a little bit. And once again let's try out a new animation and this time let's click on scene uh, number 3 so that we get a waving astronaut. That's awesome. Ok, let's rotate him a little bit and let's position him at the right side of slide number 4. And now once again let's make sure that all of these 3D models stay at the top of the selection list and let me just rename this waving guy to waving. Ok. And now we're pretty much ready to start working with the Morph Transition, ok? So let's go to the Transitions tab, let's make sure that the Morph Transition is activated. And for the Transition Duration I'm using 2 seconds. Alright, and now let's duplicate slide number 1, we can just hit Ctrl D to do that. And now on the second slide we can actually select this huge uh, floating model and let's just delete this guy. Let's get back to the first slide and on the first slide we can delete this uh, second uh, little floating model. And the reason for that is that these two floating models are basically the same single floating model and with the help of the morph transition uh, this floating guy will float from one slide to another. And now for these two guys at the bottom let's just leave them the way they are because they have different animation scenes and now let's just hit Ctrl A to select everything. Let's just deselect the slide number. And now let's just slide everything up so that the second slide is in the slide window. Super duper awesome. Alright, that's wonderful. And now let's just duplicate slide number 2, hit Ctrl D. And now on slide number 3, once again, let's select everything. You can hold down the Ctrl key to deselect the slide number. And this time, let's drag it upwards once again so that we can see slide number 3. Ok, so let's duplicate slide number 3. And on slide number 4, let's do the same. Let's drag everything upwards so that we can see this waving guy. Alright my friends, now we have all of the slides that we need and now in the selection pane we can hide those rectangles that we have used as frames for our additional slides. So let's make sure that all of those uh, rectangles are hidden in the selection pane. Ok. And very soon my friends, we will be able to hit the slideshow button and check out what we have done so far. And before that, let's just quickly jump into the animation pane and let's check if there are any animations that we can delete so that PowerPoint has easier time with all of these 3D models. And as you can see on slide number 1, we have 3 animations in total. We have this floating animation and we have uh, 2 models in the background. So we can remove animations from those models in the background because we don't see them. And let's do the same procedure for the rest of the slides, ok? So for example, on slide number 3, let's just leave the running animation. That's yeah, beautiful. And on slide number 4, let's leave uh, the waving animation. Alright my friends, well done. We're pretty much at the finish line. We'll still have to create this uh, slide scroll menu. But I think we can check out what we have done so far. So this is our first slide. As you can see, this astronaut starts floating automatically. That's beautiful. And once we click, we transition to the next slide. And this astronaut floats nicely to the right side. That's beautiful. Let's click again. And here comes our slide number 3 with this running astronaut. 
that's beautiful and let's click once again and here is our final slide with this uh, waving astronaut all right so far so good and now let's make these 3d model animations a little bit more interesting and on slide number three let's just select this uh, waving guy and let's just rotate him to the left side just like this and on slide number four let's take this running guy and let's rotate him to the right side okay so now once we play these slides on the full screen we should see some extra movement on these 3d models so let's transition from slide number three to slide number four and as you noticed once this waving guy comes into the view he rotates at the same time so that's uh, super awesome and now let's do something similar on slide number two let's just grab this uh, running guy and let's rotate him to the left side just like that and now on slide number three let's grab this floating guy and let's just move him upwards uh, just like that okay and now let's check it out on the full screen okay so this is slide number two and once we transition to slide number three as you can see we're getting some extra rotation on both of these 3d models easy peasy lemon squeezy all right my friends and the final thing that we have to do in this tutorial is to create this uh, little scroll menu so let me just zoom in and let's turn on the selection pane so that we can see what's going on so basically all that we have here are five circles or five ovals i have named the first one oval active it has white fill and white shadow and next we have four simple circles with just a white outline so now let's just move this active bubble to this top position let's just copy these guys and let's paste them into our first slide just like that and now let's just zoom in a little bit so that we can see these circles better and now let's just move this active bubble to the side and now let's make sure that we select oval one and now let's just hit ctrl k so that we can insert a hyperlink so let's make sure that we link this bubble to slide number one and click ok now let's do the same for oval number two let's select it hit ctrl k and link it to slide number two so let's link the third circle to the third slide and let's do the same for the last circle let's link it to slide number four all right so now all of these circles have hyperlinks that's beautiful let's move this active bubble to the top position that's awesome so let's make sure that we select all of the circles that we need and let's paste them into the second slide okay and this time all we have to do is just move this uh, circle this active circle one step below Okay, let's paste the menu to slide number three and this time let's move this active circle to position number three and let's paste our menu to the last slide and let's move this active bubble to the last position just like that all right so the menu is ready let's just check it out if it's working so let's see what happens when we click on this last circle and skadoosh we're scrolling to the last slide that's awesome let's scroll back up that's working as well super duper awesome okay let's see what happens if we click on this slide number three and we're getting this running uh, astronaut in slow motion that's awesome let's go to slide number two and as you can see part one might get a little bit laggy because working with animated 3d models is definitely not an easy task for a computer but nevertheless congratulations ladies and gentlemen now you know how you can create these awesome cinematic 3d morph transition slides well done thank you for watching stay happy stay healthy and i'll see you on my next video